In this section of the course, we're going to start to take a look at named ranges, because again, these are something that you'll come across frequently when you're working in Excel. So what exactly is a named range? Well, if I'm honest, it's pretty much what it says on the tin. It's a name that we give to a range of cells. So as we've already established, when we click in a cell, that cell effectively has a cell reference, I6. And we can also select ranges of cells. So I can click my mouse and drag. This is effectively a range H5 to H13. And if I was to go to my table of data and select everything in the revenue column, again, this is a range of cells, but this time the range is C5 to C24. Now, instead of referring to these cells by their cell references, we could give them a user-friendly name instead. So instead of this range being effectively called C5 to C24, I could simply name this range revenue. Similarly, I could name this range of cells here profit instead of D5 to D24. And that is effectively what a named range is. So what is the advantage of using named ranges? Hi from everyone at Simon Says It. We hope you're enjoying this training lesson. Please like this video to show your support for the channel. If you want to take your learning further, earn a certificate for this course, and gain access to over 200 courses ad-free, click up there and go to simonsaysit.com. Thanks for watching and back to the course. Well, we're going to get into that in more detail in the third lesson of this section when we take a look at formulas and named ranges, but in general, they make your spreadsheets a lot easier for not only yourself, but other people to interpret and understand. Now, in the next lesson, I'm going to show you all of the different methods you can use to create named ranges because there are quite a few of them. But once you do create a named range, you can access that name range in a couple of different ways. You can access it by typing the name into the cell, or alternatively, we can access them via the name box. If you recall in an earlier lesson next to the formula bar, just to the left here, we have a little name box. If we click the drop down, this is going to show you any named ranges that you have set up in your workbook. And you can see that I have one in here called blank cells. Now, if I click on this, it's going to show you the range of cells that that refers to. And you can see it is just a bunch of blank cells, K5 to K11. So you can also use named ranges to effectively navigate around your workbook because it will jump you directly to wherever that cell range is. Now, let's say I added some numbers into this blank cells cell range. So I'm just going to add numbers one to seven. So now that this cell range is populated, I could use the named range in a calculation. So if I wanted to do a sum, I could say equals sum, and then I could just start to type the named range. You can see there it is in the list, blank underscore cells. I can press the tab key to select it, close the bracket, and it's effectively going to add up all of those numbers. Now, I'm not going to linger too long on this because we are going to do a lot more on formulas and named ranges a bit later on, but that's the general concept. So in the next lesson, I'm going to show you the different methods you have to create named ranges. Congratulations on reaching the end of this training video. Continue your training in Excel 365 for beginners with the next video in the series by clicking over here. For more related training videos, click over here to watch this popular playlist of free learning resources. To see more videos like this one, click below to subscribe.